I wanted to make a quick video on how to easily install an EMB directly into Mod Organizer 2 um, using the amazing tool Root Builder. This allows you to have as many EMBs installed in Mod Organizer 2 as you want and switch between them as easy as if you're turning mods on and off. So this does use a uh, root builder by Kazima and it is so easy to use that I'm sure it'll become an integral part of all your modding tools if you don't use it already. This method also keeps your game folder in pristine condition and does not require you to add anything to your game folder as it's all handled through uh, within Mod Organizer 2. First thing we're going to be doing is downloading and installing root builder. I will link that below. To make things easier, um, when I'm doing this, I like to be prepared. So I open up my main um, folder where Mod Organizer 2 executable is, uh, is stored and also my downloads. What you want to do is double click on Root Builder. And this will bring you to another folder called Root Builder. Open the plugins tab of your Mod Organizer folder and literally drag it across. Um, I've already got it installed, so I won't bother with it. With, um, reinstalling it once you've got that in there then the folder inside will look like that you don't need your downloads folder uh, in mod organizer 2 hit the refresh button or you can press f5 or you can close it and reopen it once you've done that if you click on the uh, drop down here you'll see root builder has been installed if it doesn't show there make sure you have refreshed your mod organizer 2 and make sure you've installed it properly. Just drag that file into the plugins. The beauty of using Root Builder is you can also add the ENB series directly into Mod Organizer 2 as well. So you can, uh, when you go to the um, ENB dev website, click on your downloads. Once you've done that, you do actually need to go back to your downloads folder. Because so once you've downloaded the ENB series, open up your downloads folder of um, Mod Organizer 2, and you can simply drag that over, drop it in. You don't have to put it in your downloads folder of Mod Organizer 2. I just do this because I'm running a portable instance and it keeps things tidy. So now I've already installed the MB series myself. I'll show you how I've done it. But at the bottom, you've got Overwrite. So right click on that, All Mods, Create Empty Mod Above. We're going to call this EMB Series. Uh, mine's going to be a dupe because I've already got one. Move it to whatever position you want, just like any other mod. Okay, once we've done this, you want to right click, open in the Explorer, and this is your mod. Make a new folder, and call it root. Nothing else, not data, not, no other words, not EMB, nothing, just call it root. Then you want to down, open up your downloads folder of mod organizer where you stored EMB series. If it's a seven zip folder you're doing this for, I like this, you will need to extract it, but as it's a zip file, you can double click it. We want the wrapper version, d3d11.dll and the d3d compiler. Select both those. My mistake, open up your root folder. Take both of those into your root folder. That is it. That's all you gotta do. We'll close that. I'm going to minimize that for now. When we open this mod, double click it. Go to your file tree. Mods are in there. That is installed. You ain't got to do any more now. Except activate it like any other mod. So it's got the little tick next to it. Now, I don't need that because I've already got my EMB series. So I am actually going to just delete this one. All right. So now let's make some magic with the mods that with the enbs themselves so i've downloaded two I've got culminated emb and pycho emb um because i'm using azure weathers so i'm going to delete culminated and we'll add culminated in together so again do your download so do your downloads as you would normally and what we're going to do is go down to the bottom right click overwrite all mods create empty mod above we're going to call this culminated EMB. And I want this one with my other EMBs. And again, this is empty, so we're going to right click. We're going to open it in Explorer. We're going to make a new folder in here. And we're going to call this root. Simple as that. Open up root. This is now ready to accept our EMB.
So I have already downloaded and extracted the culminated DMB for the right weathers. Um, so open up folder, open up. So what you're looking for is the files that you would normally add to your main game file. So main file, install. I'm going to go full quality. Everything in here, we want all this. We're going to select the whole lot. If you want to select the whole lot, click the first one, hold shift, select the last one. Drag that in. That is now a mod in Mod Organizer 2. Now, what if you want to add in an optional depth of field? Simple. Open it up. We're going to go for slightly stronger depth of field. The EMB folder, drag it over, over right. Exactly the same as you would if you just put that into your game data folder. Now, that is in there. I'm going to double click it, and you can see everything we want is in there. We're going to close that up. Now, I have been using PyCho EMB. So, what we're going to do is we're going to deactivate that. We're going to go down to our overwrite folder, double click, and in root is our current EMB settings. We're going to just delete that. Yes, close, go back up, activate to culminate. That is all you need to do. Culminated is now activated. Um, okay, let me show you. And that's it. Culminated EMB has now been installed. Um, yeah, this is a little mod list I'm currently playing with and building up. Um, and if you haven't worked it out, we're a white run. That is literally as simple as that. You make a mod, add in a root folder, copy over everything that you would normally add to your Gar Skyrim um, main folder, and then activate it. It is so simple. Once once the mods are installed, it is so simple just to switch between them. So if you want to go back to PyCho, you deselect culminated, run down to the bottom, double click your overwrite folder, open root, delete anything that's under root there that's uh, EMB related, close it, go back up, activate the module, the uh, EMB you want. You can have two, three, four, ten, twenty. What I would say is make sure it's uh, relevant to the uh, weather that you've got. Because otherwise you might not get the visuals you're looking for. But yeah, just switch between them as you see fit. But just don't have them both active at the same time. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, maybe I'll see you in one of my playthroughs. Take care now. Bye-bye.